Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? Today we're gonna go over, uh, oh, I'm sorry, it's easy pictures to draw. Today we're gonna go over how to draw a griffin. A griffin is a kind of a mythical creature that they thought was real. I guess they dug up bones and I, I think it was like, it turned out to be something else, like a triceratops or something. But what they originally had thought it was, was a griffin, which would be like a half bird, half eagle, half uh, lion. So we're gonna draw a cute version of that. It's gonna be step, step by step easy for beginners and kids, by the way, kids or adults. Uh, so let's get started. I'm using this basic Crayola uh, marker, and that's it. Let's get going. I'm gonna start right here with a small swoop for the beak. Pull up, tiny beak. And then I'm gonna close that off. Then I'm gonna draw up for the front of the face. Tombstone shape. And I'm gonna draw like a shape right there as well for the eye. Eyeball and iris. A little bit of hair on the front. It's gonna swoop back. And then the difference between just a regular bird and the griffin is right here. An ear. I mean, obviously one of the many differences. Uh, I'm gonna draw like a little M right there and that's gonna be the little hairs or you know, fur or feathers. back of the side of the head, bottom of the beak, pull down, goes in to go into the chest, chest is going to be furry, a little fur in the back as well, just going to pull down into the rear area pull straight down for the front. It's gonna be front paw. It's gonna have a lion's body, remember? Kinda of like a foot there, almost, but you draw a little, it is a foot, but it's basically front paw. Really simplistic kind of foot shape. Hind leg, it's kinda, of, you know, crouched there a little bit. It's gonna be like a C shape. Front of this as well. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a little thin line right there and that's going to be the lion's tail, like a lion tail. Right, almost looks like a little paintbrush at the end. Pull back, let's draw a straight line for the wing. A little almost half heart shape. You can draw the far side wing if you want, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna throw. But that's it, a bird head with, you know, that's a griffin pretty much, a bird head with a lion's body. And what I like to do is I like to draw a thick line around the outside of it. The reason I do that is because I think it kind of gives it like a cool look. It gives it a cool sticker look in a way. I think it contains a lot of shapes on the inside. Uh, the Griffin is awesome. Uh, I remember seeing it in the Clash of the Titans, I think the old movie, Jason and the Argonauts, or Clash of the Titans. I remember looking at it there, and then uh, I think they had a new version right of that, Clash of the Titans, or yeah, Clash of the Titans had a new one. So those are cool to, the new ones are cool to look at. They're not really good movies though, I don't think, in my opinion. But uh, yeah, they're really cool. But that is a Griffin. Uh, I hope that was easy enough for you to follow along. If not, rewind it, you know, rewatch it. Uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much. I appreciate you watching. Click that like button if you enjoyed watching. Uh, and that's it. Talk to you later. Also, don't forget the one last thing I always talk about. Uh, don't forget there's a free how to draw a cute ebook. And basically, when you draw anything, like, you know, in general, you can learn to draw cute. And there's a formula to that, and I go over that exact formula in that uh, ebook. It's a 10 page ebook, I believe. It's easy to print, and right now it's totally free for the moment. Uh, but yeah, that is pretty much it. It kind of goes over that. Thank you so much, guys, and I will see you in the next video. Much love.